Hi guys, welcome back. It's the Pretty Wolf and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I mostly do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here. So if you are curious and wanting to see more of my future videos, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel with the notification bell so that you are updated whenever I have a new video. And speaking of, I am going to review today. I know I haven't been reviewing for like more than a month. So today is the day. I am very excited to review this with you guys. So I have the newest lipstick from Dior. This is called Rouge Dior. So I have four shades right here. I'm gonna do swatches and demo in this video. So if you wanted to see the colors, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so before we start applying this product, I'm going to give you some information about these lipsticks. This lipstick comes with four different types of finishes. So it comes with matte finish, velvet matte, satin, and metallic, and it retails for $48 Canadian. And of course, I have one color from each from the matte finish. I have the number 314 Grand Val. And then from the velvet finish, I have the 999. So apparently, this is the most popular in this finish in velvet. And I have the 339 Selage from Satin. And then I have the 525 Cherry from Metallic. I love the design of this lipstick. It is actually refillable. So if you run out of your favorite color, you can just buy the refill of this lipstick. So this is the packaging first. Black on silver, really, really solid packaging. It feels like it's good to keep. And I like that because it's refillable. You don't want to keep a packaging that doesn't feel good when you touch it. It's so solid. And I'm going to show you how to remove the actual refill lipstick. So you just, all you have to do is pull there. So you just have to pull it like that and then it comes off if you run out of the actual lipstick. So you just go and buy this and then you get to keep the actual packaging. I really, really love that idea because it saves a lot of plastic or it saves a lot of money for that as well. It's good for the environment. And then when you get the refill, you just have to snap it back and push until you get that click. So you hear that? So I really love that design and I'm very, very impressed with Dior and they have a lot of different colors with each different finishes. And I guess let's go ahead and start applying the product. Alright, so the first product that I'm going to swatch for you guys is the matte finish. This is the Grand Ball. So this is how it looks like. Very, very nice. And I like that it has this slanted kind of effect on the lipstick. It's very easy to apply. So I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand first. Alright, so that is the swatch of Grand Ball in Matte Finish. To me, it doesn't look like really, really matte. It has a little bit of sheen to it. I wonder if it dries down after quite a while. But yeah, that's the swatch for the matte finish. The next swatch that I'm going to do is the Velvet in 999. Same thing, they all look the same. The packaging looks the same. Except that this one has a very specific texture outside. So we'll, we'll swatch this as well. in shade 999 and then let's go ahead and swatch the 339 Selage in satin finish that's how it looks like i love nudes as well like these are my color that i go crazy when i see this that is the Selage in satin finish right over here okay the next one, this is the metallic finish. This is so cute. When I saw this shade, I was like, ooh, I want that. Okay, that's how it looks like. If you look in the actual lipstick, you could really tell that there is a shimmery or a glitter in the lipstick. It's metallic, so let's swatch that one. I really love this color. It's really pretty. It's good for like spring, summer color as well. So those are the swatches. I admit that I picked up a very kind of like very cohesive color 
the matte and the satin they're very very similar looking and then the other two is this one is quite red orange and the the metallic is really pink now i think let's go ahead and apply them on my lips so that you can actually see how it looks like on the lips as well so i'm gonna go with the first color that we swatched from the matte finish this is the three and four grand bow Okay, so that is the grand ball on my lips right now. It is a matte finish, although it's not super, super like down to matte. So it still has a little bit of creaminess in it. And you need quite a bit of swipe to get this color. But I love this kind of shade, guys. You know, if you have been on my channel, I always kind of go to this type of lipstick. Okay, formula is very comfortable, but I'm just going to leave it for a little bit and then see if it dries down. Okay, so I left it for like about two minutes and tried to see if it dries down or if it's just gonna stay the same. So what I noticed is just stays the same. Same thing with the swatch here. It has a little bit of sheen or like shine to it and the same thing with the lips. It didn't dry down. So yeah, if you're looking for like a really matte finish without shine, maybe this is not something for you. But if you just kind of want a matte with a little bit of creaminess and shine into it, this is something that you should look. I really love the colors. So I'm going to go ahead with the second shade. Okay, so shade 999 in velvet. That's how it looks like. Let's try it on. Alright guys, that is the shade 999 in velvet. I have to say that the finish of this is really matte. So if you're looking for like a matte, so the first one the says matte. It's not as matte as this one. And I really like the feeling. It's very creamy velvety. So yes, and the color is like that. So 999, very popular. Classic red lipstick. So the next shade I am more excited about because these are my type of color and the finish is satin as well. So it's very, very comfortable on the lips. So let's go ahead and apply this 339 Sillage. So apply this satin finish. Ooh, I love this shade, guys. Alright guys, that is the shade Sillage. It's comfortable, very satiny, very soft and smooth. I love how it feels on the lips. This is how it looks like with just the lipstick. I guess you really have to put a lip liner on this one. If you were to wear a nude lipstick with a smoky, you probably want to have a lip liner because it's kind of like get rid of the actual shadow of your lips because of the color so let me just grab a lip liner so you guys can see how it looks like with the lip liner and without so i'll be right back so i have the lip liner from mac right here it's the shade spice i'm just gonna give you an idea how it looks like So there you go, even the shade Spice, a little bit in a pinkier side than this, so it has really a lot of warmer yellow tone, this Sillage. So yeah, I really love the shade, but I have to find a different lip liner that is matching probably a little bit more in a kind of a warmer tone, maybe more of a brown. So that's with the lip liner, and you have seen it earlier without the lip liner. It's really good. I love the formula of this um, satin lipstick. Alright, so we are down to our last shade, which is the 525 Cherry in Metallic Finish. And let me just apply this. Alright guys, that is the shade Cherry. It's very, very pretty. Very spring color. You could really see the glitter into the formula, but it's not super chunky. It just gives you that very nice um, reflection. It's beautiful. It's really pretty and I really, really love the color. 
and I'm glad I choose this one. That is all the color that I demo on you guys and once again this is all the swatch of um, matte, satin, velvet and metallic color in 999 Grand Ball sellage and cherry so these are the swatch of them i love all the color choices that i have made and there's a lot more colors in this collection so if you are curious you can look online or you can come in the store and visit them as well as you can take a look at all of you know all the swatches here one more time so these are all of them it is 48 dollars canadian and it is Dior, so you should expect that you are paying for the product and of course the name of the brand Dior. For what it is, $48 Canadian, is it worth it? Mm, I would say not. If you are looking for more reasonable lipstick, these are definitely in a high end. $48 does a lot for a lipstick. Can you find a similar color to other brand that is a little bit more reasonable price absolutely yes there's a lot of similar colors in the world of lipstick you just have to decide how you want to spend your money where you want to spend your money and you know if you're like that if you're a fan of dior and if you if you really love all dior products of course these are awesome look at the packaging it is so good the design is very smart and like i said these are refillable so if you are more environmentally cautious as well this is perfect for you it's easy to remove and it's easy to put it back just like that there you go you have a full new complete lipstick without even changing the whole packaging which is really really awesome that's why i love them yeah so if i were to say for 48 dollars i don't think it is worth it but because i love dior so i consider them as one of my makeup that you know i go to especially if they have some new launches i get excited about it and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how it feels on the lips and the formula and the smell and everything. I noticed the most formula that I like from this line, the velvet finish, it is so, so good. It is, you know, one swipe, you get that color. It's very creamy and it smells really good, guys. It smells almost like a skincare, you know, it's very, very nice smell and the finish and the formula and the way how it sits on the skin. I love this. This is my most favorite out of this four finishes. I am very, very impressed because there's a lot of brands that launch lately um, velvet finish and this is by far my favorite. Talk about these other three finishes. They are awesome. They feel comfortable on the lips. The only thing that I don't like about this one is the smell. It's very lipsticky and I don't like that. Like, for that reason, I sometimes I don't like wearing a, a lipstick that really smells like a lipstick. So three other, like the matte, the satin, and the metallic, it has that lipstick smell. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Overall, everything is good. If you don't mind all the smell, formula is amazing. Packaging and the color range is so good. So I hope this video helps, guys. And if you are looking forward to buy one of the colors, um, I would recommend them if you don't mind the price, of course. But if you are on a tight budget, maybe you can find something a little bit more reasonable. Thank you so much. That's everything. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload my next video. Thank you, guys. And I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.